Hey. Say hey, guys. Hey guys, it's Harry Styles Taylor and Camry here. We're gonna do her six month update. What? That's crazy. That's crazy. She's six months old. I cannot believe she's six months. And this outfit, this is actually one of the first outfits I'm putting on her that's three to six months. And our older girls at six months, they were in like six to nine months, or getting close to nine months. They were getting chunky around this age because we started baby food and they were just getting bigger. But she was a month early and she's not really eating or into the baby food yet. So she's been staying little. She's still been able to wear a lot of three month stuff still. Starting to try to go through and get out some of the little three month stuff, but she's still pretty much in those, I've just been trying to get her to wear some of the three to six month stuff now. And cause mostly it's been like zero to three months or three month stuff. So she's just been so sweet. We love her so much. And yeah, so we did start some baby food, um, but she's not really into it as much as the other girls. She would rather have her bottles every three hours, is usually her schedule. We'll try baby food a little bit in the afternoons but she really just makes a huge mess it gets everywhere she loves it and like she thinks we're like playing with her i feel like and she starts laughing and you just think it's so fun for us to just play with you and try to feed you she just thinks we're playing when we put that baby food in her mouth she like just spits it out or plays with her tongue with it and she doesn't really eat it but she loves sitting in her high chair so when we eat dinner or anything Sorry, Molly. She's like eating dinner and all with everybody, and she loves watching us eat. And we'll try like little things, but she's just not, nope, not into it really. Her schedule, she's on a really good schedule though, so that's really awesome. She sleeps all night, so that's amazing. Um, like this morning, she slept in until about 9, almost 9.30. Oh, sorry, the TV is on. She got up around, she slept in a little bit. It was like 9.30 almost. And she ate her bottle, and she when she gets tired, she starts rubbing her eyes, and you know she's tired, so she's about time for a nap time, because it is, let's see, it's almost 11, so she is ready for a nap. Where'd your bathroom go? Where'd it go? There we go. I'm not with Mama Hoji. I love these bibs. I think they're from Target. I had a friend give them to me at her baby shower. They look like little, what do you call them? I turned off your music. She loves music. She loves listening to music. If she's ever fussy, I can turn on the music in the bathroom, dance with her in the mirror. She loves looking at herself in the mirror, and she loves me to bounce her around and dance to the music. I like that. that always settles her down. And sometimes, even if she's fussy to go to sleep, I can do that, and she'll go right to sleep and be ready for bed or nap or whatever. Hold on to our fingers like so much. She squeezes them so tight. Anyway, so her schedule. So she gets up and she'll eat and then about two, she might, she stays up a good while now, like about two hours, hour and a half, two hours, and then she's ready for a nap. And sometimes she'll take a 30 minute nap, sometimes she'll take closer to a two hour nap, you just never know how long she's really going to nap. Normally during the day she just takes like these short 30 minute to an hour naps, like 9, 12, 3, six and then she'll be ready to eat again at nine and be ready for bed but it kind of just depends on how her schedule goes her second to last bottle she'll eat usually around um five to six seven just depends on how her day has gone but whenever she gets up in the morning that's usually what starts off her schedule um because whatever time she's her first bottle it's usually every three hours then on out um so she can eat her last bottle anywhere from eight nine ten usually around nine and she's ready for bed and I've tried um, to get the girls on a good schedule now, like all of them at bedtime. We all get ready for bed. Usually the older two get a bath first, and then usually one of them's ready to get out of the bath, and the other one wants to stay in for a little bit longer, and then that's when I give her a bath. So I've started to do that now, where normally I would just get the older two to the bath and then get her a bath separately, like right before bedtime. But now I've tried to get them on a better schedule, so they're all kind of going to bed at the same time around 9. 
eight ish, nine ish. But sometimes I try to get the girl, the older girls in bed around eight, and then she still stays up a little bit until she's ready to go to bed around nine. I put still put her lavender lotion on. She gets the gentle baby oil. Um, the essentials, we do Young Living the Essential Oils now, and I love the Gentle Baby. The Kobe, Co, Copabia, Copabia, or something like that. Um, I'll put it on her jawline here if she's fussy, and I think she's fussy with her teeth. And then, but Gentle Baby, I always put it on her chest, nighttime, um, her feet, and she sleeps so good. I thought y'all might want to see these two that I use for her. So we use Young Living, the Gentle Baby, that's what it looks like. And then the Cup of Bia, I think that's how you say it, I'm not really sure. That's the ones I put on her jawline for her teething. Those are the main two that I use for camera grease a lot of times. And my link's below if you want to check out more of the holes and all because they're amazing and awesome. I love using them. Soothing. They sleep so good. I put the lavender in with her bath too a lot of times and the girls in early. Yeah, and if you want to try them, like if you let me know below, I'll send you like a roller of these so you can try them out for your little ones. So just let me know. That's just that's just like a routine. So whenever um, I'm getting her ready for bed, I do those things, and then we'll sit in the in the rocking chair with her last bottle. I wrap her up with our big swaddle blankets, and I'll start feeding her the bottle. And usually she's like starting to go to sleep. She'll eat that bottle, and I'll give her a passy, and we'll wrap for a little bit longer. And then I don't want to lay her down because she's all like snuggled up with me, and she's our little baby. So I just want to huggle, snuggle her up. And so then, um, but I try not to get her too asleep um, with rocking her. I try to check her a little bit and then lay her down so she's still a little bit awake. Um, if she doesn't go to sleep with that bottle, because randomly she doesn't, um, I'll still rock with her a little bit. And I can even lay her down and she'll still be awake and she'll go to sleep. So, you are just like the best little baby. Yes, you are. She loves her bumbo seat. She sits in that. She's starting to sit up on her own a good bit, but that bumbo still helps her because um, she's still a little wobbly a little bit. So, um, but she loves to be standing up. Like she wants to be held like this all the time. She just wants to stand up. I think she's just gonna go straight to standing and walking and maybe skip the crawling. I don't know. But she, this is how she wants to be, and she loves her extra saucer that we have right here in our living room too. And she'll sit in the extra saucer for a while, usually after she eats and plays. Then I'll sit her in the bumbo or her little swing over there to swing in. And she's usually good to go. She loves her passy. She loves chewing on her hands. She's drooling so much. No teeth yet. I think by six months the girls had teeth. But she's not quite there yet. She's moved. She's still, we're finishing out the size one diapers. Then we're moving, moving to the two diapers. They seem like they're getting a little bit snug on her. Um, she doesn't mind the bows, so Kinsley had bows in her hair all the time. Claire does not. Claire doesn't really like bows in her hair, but she doesn't mind the bows. She doesn't pull them down or anything. Why? Why is that? Yeah, you get a safety nail, aren't you? Aren't you? I'm gonna get it. 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 Diggle, diggle. Diggle, diggle. You gonna talk to us? So happy. <laughs> yes, you get to sleepy, huh? You ready to take a nappy nap? I'm actually about to take her to the salon with me. I have a haircut this morning, and Joel's already there with some patients. So we're going to go take her with us. And she'll hang out with us. She's probably about ready to take her nap, which is good timing. Huh? Yes. But she does so sweet. So sweet, so sweet. I love her so much. Love her so much. And her sisters still love her. They're all over her. They want to hold her and feed her and everything like I do. Claire will throw away her diapers after I change her diaper. Like every time. When I'm feeding her, she wants to bring me her burp cloths, more bibs. She's wanting to bring me all kinds of stuff to help me with baby sis. We're just so sweet with her. We just love her so much. Anything else? I've not been good with keeping up stuff with stuff on my phone lately. Oh yeah, we are now on formula. She's gotten through all of our breast milk, so now we're just on formula and having that, um, having six ounces, six ounce bottle every three hours. We probably still will try in the afternoons, giving her, she's so tired, <laughs> giving her baby food and a little bit of a bottle. So it's used to it and just keep practicing the eating. 
because she can get to eating real good. And so probably next month you'll see or hear that we've started more baby food, I bet. But I don't know, she just loves her bottles, don't her. And I'll show y'all my belly. I feel like the last video got like more views, I guess, because I showed my belly and my progress and stuff. So I'll um, I'll show y'all again. I've just been going um, to the gym. I try to go like two times a week. My regular schedule. I like to go a lot more, but until she starts at the preschool and my grandma starts keeping her more this summer, I don't really get a ton of time to go. But I still just try to go as much as I possibly can. Let me sit her down again for a minute. All right, I'm gonna show y'all my belly again. And then this might be, I don't know, y'all comment below and let me know if y'all keep wanting to see my belly because I feel like it hasn't really changed. So, just like, I'm gonna show y'all. It's my incision there. So, still looking really good. I do put some little, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a creamy stuff. I'll have to go look and tell y'all what I put on there, but it helps it to um, fade away a little bit more. That's it. Yeah, because I really don't care like if y'all still keep wanting to see like the progress and everything. But I did want to show y'all this is what I've been using. The Dermal Scar Gel. I think we got this. This is it like one of the organic home. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I'll try to leave a link if I can find it online for you guys. But that's what I've been using and it seems to really help like to fade the scar away and also. Um, also have this one. I know you can get it at Target. Menderma advanced scar gel so i use i rotate between those just after a shower putting that on and it seems to help the scar to fade away so yeah all right guys i think that's it for her six month update thanks so much for watching subscribe comment like check out our vlogs and if you have any suggestions for more videos let us know and we'll see y'all soon thanks for watching guys bye Goodbye.